Good morning, everyone. This has been a blustery winter weekend in January, hasn't it? Our snowblower has definitely had more use than it did last year. It has been a great winter to be outside getting exercise, whether it is walking or snowshoeing. My whole family has a pair of snowshoes and it has been good for my health and mind to get outside for some fresh air and physical activity. Of course, it's super enjoyable to be nice and cozy by a fireplace with a warm drink too. We just finished a week that had the proverbial Blue Monday in it. It definitely is easy to get the January blahs, especially this particular January for obvious reasons. It looks as though Rosemary and Reverend Meg with North Simcoe Rural Church Cluster are working on an idea to rid ourselves of the January blahs that ties nicely with Krista's Amaryllis story this week. Apparently, they would like to set members up with a bulb growing challenge. Nothing like bulbs sprouting to make us feel like spring is coming. More information will be forthcoming after their meeting this coming Tuesday. Rosemary was on a roll this week because she is also challenging us to think of positives that have come out of our time in quarantine. She shared with me that she looks forward to spending at least an hour every Sunday having a Zoom chat with her three busy professional daughters. They dress up and reminisce for birthdays and Rosemary feels that their relationships with each other have deepened and become richer since they have been sharing this time together. Please send me some stories of your special moments from the past year, and I will share with our congregation. This could become a beacon of light for all of us. On Monday, January 25th at 7 o'clock p.m., there will be a church council meeting. It will be held by way of a Zoom meeting as the church is closed for the time being. Everyone is welcome to attend. If you would like to be at the meeting but don't usually get a link to join, please let me know and I will add you in. Next Sunday, January 31st at 11 o'clock a.m., we will be having our second virtual coffee time by Zoom. Last month's was so lovely and well attended. The link for this meeting will be shared by Fern this week. This week, we said goodbye to another faithful St. John's member. We knew Elmer was suffering incredible pain from his cancer and also because his dear wife, Evelyn, was no longer with him. They are together once again, and we have to say our goodbyes from afar. I know the family is hoping to have a special gathering in the summer. Lynn Stone Funeral Home is now live streaming services, and many were able to attend virtually, which helped a lot. Please keep the McFadden family in your thoughts and prayers. They have suffered great losses these past few months. At the end of the service, you will be able to view the video of How Great Thou Art that Evelyn and Elmer's niece Michelle sang for Evelyn's funeral. It was also played at Elmer's funeral on Friday. Fern's friend Allison, who is a musical leader at Siloam United Church in London, Ontario, has invited us to participate in their virtual musical called In the Big Inning. Everybody is welcome. Zoom rehearsals begin on Sunday, February 7th at 9 o'clock a.m. There is no cost. Please talk to Fern if you need help registering or check out the Worshipping Word for more information. Happy birthday wishes go out to Jeff Turner today. I hope Karen spoils you. Oh, and Rosemary thought we wouldn't find out about her birthday on the 19th. I hope you and your girls had a wonderful Zoom call celebration. Have a great week.